Hello, it's Aimee here, and in this video, I will be showing you my April spreads. These past couple of months have been a bit rough, to say the least. There have been a lot of me comparing myself to other people or feeling a bit stuck in life. I wanted this theme to be a reminder for myself and to you too to take a deep breath. I want to stop focusing on the things that I can't control and looking too far into the future. Be in the present and enjoy the ride. I also really wanted to do a plant theme, so I thought that this month would be a perfect time for that. Anyways, off of my tangent, I started out with outlining my drawing with a .005 brown micron pen. I have never used any other micron pen color for my drawings, but I am absolutely obsessed. I love the look of how subtle the lines are compared to the boldness of the black. I drew myself looking out at a window to represent the moment that I want to just be at peace. The coziness of warm light, a little nook, and being surrounded by plants makes it feel so homey. My poor pointed dip pen has been neglected for far too long. I wanted to use it to make my quote for the month. I was really happy that the skills that I've learned haven't completely deteriorated, but man oh man do I need to get back into it. It was very stressful to not mess up and I felt like I did in the beginning, but as I kept writing, I started to feel better about it. Now for the coloring, I used my go-to Tombow brush pens for the undercolor. I kept the colors really light since I planned on using colored pencils on top of them for a bit of depth. Using the colored pencils really made me want to use them more since it helped smooth out the harsh lines that the brush pens sometimes give when they overlap. It also gave it a more realistic look to the drawing. I don't really draw plants a whole lot, so this was another anxiety-driven thing for me. 
but when I was adding the shading and highlights, it gave me a bit of ease. Probably one of my favorite parts of the theme so far. To cover up a lot of the empty space, I added some scrap paper on the bottom where I will write down April. But before that, I laid out some plant stamps that have been collecting dust and have not been used before. I didn't have stamp ink though, so I had to improvise. I thought that maybe using the Tombow pens would work, but then I saw it didn't really cover it at all, so I was a bit worried on how it would turn out. It didn't have the usual effect as using an actual ink pad, of course, but for some reason I really loved the blotchy, unfinished look of it. I kept alternating between the dark green and the lighter green to stamp out the empty space. After that, I used the blending pen to drag out the color from the stamping to fill in the areas that didn't transfer. To make more use of my pointed pen, I used Dr. P.H. Martin's Bleed Proof White ink to write out April on the bottom of the cover page. The angle I was writing at kind of made me mess up a little bit and it didn't turn out exactly how I wanted. Onto the calendar portion of my spread, I used the same micron pen from the cover page to outline the doodles that I did already. I feel like that the more I drew plants for this theme, the more I realized I've been sleeping on it. They just looked so intimidating because of all the detail and how much you have to think about perspective a lot. But using simple shapes to sketch it out really helped with that barrier. I started outlining the calendars with this gold color, making sure to not accidentally go over the plant doodles. So far this year, I've been using two separate calendars for my personal and content use, but I didn't think it was working out the way I wanted it to. I consolidated it to have them both on the same page this time, and I think for now I might stick with that until I have more things to track. I wanted to use another quote to really drill in my head some positive thoughts for the month. So I wrote it out using my pointed pen again on a smaller scrap paper.
When it came to coloring the doodles, I went back and forth on whether or not I wanted to use the colored pencils again, but eventually decided not to in order to save some time. Plus, it would have been hard to see anyways with all the details and how thin some of the plants were. I originally filmed me putting the dots on for the days of the week, which I used Posca pens for. However, my dumb dumb self thought it was a good idea to pump it directly onto the paper and it pulled out too much. After saving my calendar from a mess and it dried, I wrote in the first letter of the day of the week. I placed the quote at the bottom of the page and started adding in some washi tape to fill in the space more. Next up, my habit tracker and budget tracker. I went with the vertical setup this month and added some vines draping around it to make it not look too bland. Besides the vine doodle, I kept this spread on the simpler side. I didn't want to overdo the doodles again, so I chilled out to prevent the burnout. I wrote down the titles for each tracker using simple lettering in the middle and for the budget tracker spread. I added more plant themed washi tape to match and fill in the empty space more. Onto the weekly spreads, I am really loving the way I have been setting up my weeklies this year. To not have to do the doodles for every single week has been a bit of a fresh air. I loved drawing for them a lot, but it felt like it was getting to be a bit draining. I used the empty space at the top for my menu and doodled in plants as a separator for each week. I used the same brown micron pen again and outlined the doodles. While that dries, I used a brown Tombow pen to outline the weekly headers and wrote in the days of the week and dates with a white gel pen. I wanted to use the stamps again, so I used lighter versions of the greens and stamped them along the bottoms of the weeklies.
Finally, to finish things off, I colored in all of my plant doodles at the top with my Tombow brush pens. And there it is, my finished April spreads for this year. I really enjoyed doodling the plants and the color palette a lot for this month. Having those quotes hopefully will remind me to give myself some grace and to take my time, there is no rush. I hope for people who can relate to these feelings know that you are not alone. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!